Today we're going to be looking at how to add fractions that have different denominators. And as you can see here on the right hand side, there's many steps for us to follow. So if you find that you get lost at any point, I encourage you to pause the video and take a look at some of the video links in the description below, where we've gone ahead and broken down some of these steps in a lot more detail. So looking at our first question here, we're being asked to solve 2 6 plus 1 half. So in order for us to do this, the first step is going to be to go ahead and find a common denominator. And to do this, we're going to go ahead and multiply our denominators here. And we know that 6 times 2 gives us 12. So we're going to rewrite this equation with our new denominator of 12. And now that we have our new denominators here that we've multiplied our denominators, we need to make sure that we're multiplying our numerators by the same value as our denominator. So for 2, 6, I had to multiply 6 times 2 to get 12. So I need to multiply the numerator by the same value of 2. And 2 times 2 gives us 4. So we're going to go ahead and write a 4 on top. And next, for the 1 half, I needed to multiply 2 times 6 in order to get 12. So I'm going to have to do the same thing for the numerator up top and multiply that by 6 as well. And 1 times 6 gives us 6. So now that we've rewritten these fractions with the new common denominator of 12, we can go ahead and actually add these fractions. And the value of the denominator isn't going to change when we add the fractions, so we can go ahead and start by just writing the denominator of 12. And now we can add the numerators together. And 4 plus 6 gives us 10 for an answer of 10 over 12. And as you can see here, there's still one more step left. We still have to simplify this fraction, which means we have to write this fraction in its lowest possible terms. And looking at this, I can see both 12 and 10 are multiples of 2. So let's go ahead and divide both 12 and 10 by 2. And we know that 12 divided by 2 gives us 6, and that 10 divided by 2 gives us 5 for a final answer of 5, 6. So 2, 6 plus 1 half gives us an answer of 5, 6. So now let's go ahead and try and solve this second question here. And if you feel ready, then I encourage you to try and solve this one on your own. So you'll remember that our first step is to find a common denominator. And to do that, we're just going to go ahead and multiply the value of the denominators. And 4 times 10 gives us 40. So let's go ahead and write our new denominator of 40. And now I need to rewrite the numerators. So I had to multiply 4 times 10 in order to get 40. So I have to multiply 1 times 10 in order to get the value of the numerator. So that gives me 10 over 40. And now I had to multiply 10 times 4 in order to get 40. So I have to do the same thing to the numerator up top and multiply 5 times 4, which gives me 20. So now that I've rewritten these fractions with the common denominator of 40, we can go ahead and just start adding these numbers together now. And you remember that the value of the denominator doesn't change. For this question, it's still 40. And now we can just add the value of the numerators. And 10 plus 20 gives us 30 for 30 over 40. But we're not quite done yet because we can still simplify this fraction. And I know that both 40 and 30 are multiples of 10. So let's go ahead and divide both 30 and 40 by 10 to rewrite this fraction in its lowest possible terms. And 40 divided by 10 gives us 4, and 30 divided by 10 gives us 3 for an answer of 3 quarters. So 1 quarter plus 5 tenths gives us an answer of 3 quarters. So I hope this video has helped you to understand how to add fractions that have different denominators. Thanks again for watching, and please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button below. As always, enjoy today's math lesson.